I'm with uh, uh, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu legend and the FC Hall of Fame, Chris Gracie. I, I don't think there, is, there needs to be an introduction. Uh, he's here uh, uh, in Dubai, uh, just had a seminar, uh, courtesy of uh, PSG of Dubai, uh, with Tam, Tam Khan. Uh, first of all, I welcome to the uh, Emirates. I believe it is your first time. My first time, thank you. Uh, hopefully, uh, you have time to, hopefully you had time to look around. Uh, I have not slept for the last four <laughs> days. <laughs> I'm sleeping actually, I average of four hours a night. We try to see everything, do everything. How, how long have you been here since this Friday? We got here on Thursday. And uh, you, we just finished the seminar. Uh, can you talk to us about the seminar? What did you think of the level of uh, you know, uh, the people that were there uh, compared to uh, you know, where you usually have seminars? Because since it's the first time I think you ever have one uh, in an Arab country, maybe? Yes, yeah, so that's the first time. Um, there was a lot of people that knew that done before and it was a very big mix and those are and those some people that was first timers never did so it was a big it was a big gift it was a big mix of guys that been around and done in the purple belts and very good purple belts around and uh, <laughs> yeah I, I, I saw you spar with some of them yeah <laughs> and uh, and and some guys that are brand new to the game so I was Pretty much just uh, trying to kind of see where everybody stands. Today is my first time. It's my first time, so I was kind of just filling oh, everybody out for the next time when I come back. I already know who is who and where they are. And you said when you come back, so that's a good sign. So you like the place? You're coming back again? You don't have a problem coming back again? Not at all. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> uh, uh, I think everyone everyone has been asking me uh, to ask you this question. Okay? Uh, how do you feel? Because you know everyone knows that you're the creator. Your family is the creator of jiu-jitsu in its modern form. How do you feel uh, watching the sport your family created uh, spread out across the world, specifically or especially here in the UAE? That was actually the plan. I mean, jiu-jitsu has been around in Brazil for a long time, but uh, what happens in Brazil, people don't know until it leaves to. America. Once it goes to America, it's spread out all over the world. It went to Africa, to Australia, to Europe, to over here now. So it's all over the world. Those people in the seminar from Syria, from Iran, they all invited me. Hey, I would love you to come over. So, I mean, it's growing very fast. Uh, but all thanks to the UFC, the media. In America, you see it happen in America, man. It's spread out all over the world. And uh, uh, my second question is because I've, I've, I've heard many of your interviews, especially the last one in the UK with Sedanta Sports. So it's, it's fresh in my mind. Uh, you mentioned you were against uh, the point system in Jiu-Jitsu, and, and you you more old school with, with no time limits, uh, just fight, you know, until the end. Uh, what do you think of the sport turning pro? Professional. Uh, you were here uh, yesterday for the uh, the first uh, World Professional Jiu-Jitsu Cup. Uh, what do you think of of that? You know, because uh, many people say it needed to be that way because you know, in order for people to come and see Jiu-Jitsu, they need to see it as a sport, as a point, as a point system. People in the uh, back in the old days, people were curious about it. That's why they would stay for an hour or two hours to watch one fight. But now people want fast action, so. There had to be these changes. So what do you, what do you have to say to these people? Grace Jiu Jitsu that my father created, it was not to for point, for point system. I don't believe that Taekwondo was created for point system. I don't believe judo was created for point system. They are martial arts, wrestling was not from the point system. They're not just Grace but all these styles of martial art were created for fighting, for defending yourself, to either to attack or to defend. Grace Jiu Jitsu is a self defense style. What my father created was for you to defend yourself, was for the smaller person to be able to defend himself against the bigger opponent. Not to beat up the bigger opponent, but not to lose to the bigger opponent. So you give, and we're giving the smaller guy a chance, hope, 
not to be bullied by somebody bigger. So, based on that, we time Taekwondo, like Judo, like all the styles of martial art, Taekwondo today, they're teaching people how not to hit someone, how to and stop. Why? Because it became a tournament guide. So it's teaching to score points. Not that I'm against, because most people will never get in a fight in the street, will never be able to get in the ring. So the only way to get their learning is to go into a competition. And I do encourage a lot of my students to say, hey, go ahead, man, enter the tournament. That's as close as you're going to get to a journey. You're not going to train like a professional. You're not going to fight in the ring. You might never get attacked in the street. So all this training that you're doing, you might never use it. The closest you're going to get to it is to do a tournament. So it's a, I mean, it's a very, basically what my father created was a self-defense style for fighting. There is no size limit, there is no weight division, there is no rules. It's for the streets. It wasn't for a point system where you score a point and you win. But for the majority of people, they're never going to get that. They're never going to get in a fight. It's a fun thing to do. Uh, speaking of your father, I offer my condolences. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't mention it in the beginning. Uh, I was actually in the European Championships in Portugal at uh, the time of his death. And uh, I watched uh, his grandson, Juan Gracie, uh, win the gold medal and dedicating that win. It was a very emotional moment, probably one of the, the most, uh, you know, the best moment I had in my, you know, witnessing in my life when it comes to jiu-jitsu because it was such a, you know, a, a magnificent moment to see everyone standing up and, and, and clapping after that win and, and that tribute. Uh, so, uh, he had a good life, 95 years old, strong, 95 years young, actually strong. So and I was happy to be able to spend the last month, that was a month before I passed away. I was in Brazil for about six weeks spending time with him. So 